Hello, I'm Carl Conrad and welcome to tonight's interview. The news is still full of Australian citizens and permanent residents still unable to return to Australia and we expect the government has yet to do much to help these people. However, there is a large number of people caught outside of Australia who hold temporary resident visas and they are unable to return as well. In particular, the 489 visa along with the 491 and 494 have special provisional status as they are stepping stones to permanent residency. They are also charged a visa fee at the level of permanent residency. That is a significant investment for plans of a new life in Australia. Tonight we're talking to Surat, who lives in Canada. He obtained his 489 visa with his family in early 2019. In November last year, they all arrived for their first visit to meet the initial entry date requirements. They were booked to come back this year until COVID-19 came along. Being unable to return to Australia and continue with their plans to move here, this is causing the family a great deal of stress and uncertainty of what the possible future plans they have for Australia. We interviewed Surat to ensure the story is one to be heard by the immigration policy makers and let them enter Australia with a concession to extend their 489 visa so they can meet the 887 permanent resident visa requirements later on. Hi Sarad, thanks for joining us tonight. Can you please just give us a quick background of when your visa was granted and your plans that you had for Australia? Uh, my visa was granted on February 7th, 2019. And um, after that, I did my first landing on uh, November 11th, 2019. And after that, I was uh, planning myself to uh, come to Australia with my family in 2020. So what stopped you from coming to Australia? The reason is um, uh, in in March, uh, the Australian government uh, issued uh, travel restrictions, and those restrictions are uh, specifically for uh, visa holders, um, and it is impacting me. And I could not come to Australia uh, in until the travel restrictions were lifted. Since my visa was granted in 2019, uh, it expires in 2023. So uh, as per the requirements, I need to be in a regional area for two years and work for one year. So at the latest, I should be in Australia by February 7th of 2021. Are you aware that permanent residency visa holders are allowed to enter Australia and the temporary visa holders are not? How does that actually make you feel? We were treated completely differently. Uh, when somebody uh, is getting a permanent resident visa, he's treated um, differently. Like they, they are able to enter Australia anytime, even during uh, the uh, travel restrictions. But uh, uh, we, sp we spent the same uh, amount of uh, effort in, in getting, getting our uh, regional visa, but uh, we were not considered that much because our visa is a temporary visa and their visa is a permanent resident visa. This visa is not an easy visa. It's like a... It's, it's a competition and I need, to, I need to satisfy a lot of things. I need to meet the points. I need to satisfy that I have a skill and I need to uh, satisfy that I have the English requirement and a lot many things. There, it, this visa is no different from permanent residency. It's the same, same requirements, same rules and same points. So Rat, you're aware that other people have been given concessions to lodge the 887 visa, but they don't apply to you and actually many others. What is the message you'd like to get across today? Um, um, I really like that um, the government is considering um, uh, 489 visa holders. So I know that um, the, these concessions were granted to people uh, who were um, uh, in the moment of applying to 887 visa. So, but um, they should also consider um, uh, cases like mine, um, like uh, people who are granted visa and um, who uh, cannot enter the country because of the travel restrictions. So I would like the government to consider um, cases like mine. Uh, there are a lot of people out there, uh, even, uh, even in much dire situations than me, because maybe some, some families were even separated because of the situation. Uh, because we have spent a lot of um, time, money and effort. Um, and I know uh, I have uh, lost so many uh, weekends uh, spending, you know, a lot of my uh, personal time uh, in preparing and getting uh, ready for uh, this visa. What would you like the government to consider so help can be offered to you and others in the same situation? 
Uh, I would like the government to consider that since uh, we uh, the visa holders lost this time uh, because of the travel restrictions, I would like the government to uh, extend this visa until the point where we have lost that time so that uh, uh, nobody is um, actually uh, losing anything. Surat and his family have spent an enormous amount of time, energy and money to gain their 489 visa and it was a significant achievement for them. The fact that they're not permitted to enter Australia and carry out their plans to live here has taken an enormous emotional toll. All they're looking for from the government is just a ray of hope. Hope that in the future when the travel restrictions are lifted, they can still come to Australia and live their dreams. We feel the government is more than capable of giving people like Surat and his family the sort of hope and certainty they are searching for. It would not take much to change the legislation and allow 489 visa holders the ability to apply for another 489 visa so they can meet the requirements of their permanent residency applications. Let's hope the Australian spirit of a fair go prevails and some new policy is made to address these concerns. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we bring you not only the new updates and visa information but also issues that matter for Australian visa holders. So take care out there and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.